Hey, what's going on, Hawksness? It's Guys here, back with another Mobile of Duty call video. Now, in today's video, the format is going to be a little bit different because it is 7.14 a.m. and I would really like to go to bed, but before I go to bed, I do want to get this video out to you guys so that you are kind of aware of the, uh, the Peacekeeper and just how absurd this thing is because uh, in its current state inside of the test server, which is where I am actually getting all of this information, uh, it's basically busted. Like, I, I don't know what's going on with it. It's absolutely insane. Uh, maybe I haven't tested all of the stats so there's something that kind of balances it out but the time to kill on this weapon is absurd and i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the stats are uh, based on what i've tested thus far just so you guys can kind of have a preview of exactly how this weapon is performing right now now do keep in mind that the stats that i'm going to show you guys in today's video might change by the time that the weapon does come out in the global version and i will make a full guide video on the weapon when it does come out but for now once again this is just kind of an update so you guys can see uh, exactly what i'm seeing so first let's just go ahead and talk about the damage and range values for this weapon just so you guys can start to get a good understanding of how this weapon performs so in terms of the uh, range values from zero to 10 meters you're going to be dealing 26 damage uh, to the most of the body uh, and then you'll be dealing 28.6 damage to the chest so this area right here and then you'll be dealing 32.24 damage to the head uh, then from 11 to 25 meters you're going to be dealing 24 damage to most of the body and then 26.4 to the chest 29.76 to the head then from 26 to 41 meters you're going to be dealing 19 damage 20.9 23.56 then from 42 meters and beyond you're going to be dealing 18 damage 19.8 damage and then 22.32 i'm also going to color code these real quick so you guys can see uh the shots to kill okay so now you guys can see how many shots it would uh, take to kill at each range based on where you're hitting the body obviously but then after that if you put on the rapid fire barrel on this weapon the gun gets absurd basically what you're getting with this is you're going to be increasing the fire rate of the gun and you're going to be increasing the damage but you are going to be losing range as well as your bullet spread accuracy does get hit a, a pretty decent amount uh the exact numbers are right here so your fire rate interval uh gets minus 12 percent which basically means the time in between each shot is going to be reduced so it shoots faster uh, your damage is increased and then your range is reduced by 20 percent and your ads bullet spread accuracy is going to be 20% wider, which is not good. The obvious is worse. By the way, I recorded a whole video like this earlier, but it didn't come out very good. So I thought this format would be a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and go back to the spreadsheet or not the spreadsheet, but the document. But yeah, as you can tell, the ranges are going to be reduced. So instead of uh, zero to 10 meters, you're going to be zero to eight meters. And then instead of 11 to 25, it's going to be nine to 20, so on and so forth. But the damages are going to be increased by a pretty substantial amount when you do have this barrel. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and color code these before we read it though. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make uh, dark green will be a three shot kill, which is insane, by the way. Okay, 16 damage is a seven shot kill. So we're going to go ahead and make that. Uh, we'll go dark like brown kind of or yellow all right so anyway with the rapid fire barrel um to the legs from zero to eight meters you'll be dealing 31 damage which is still going to be a four shot kill but if you're able to hit upper body shots you're going to be dealing 34.1 damage which means that with the barrel on this weapon you can actually three shot kill people all the way up to eight meters as long as once again you're able to hit upper body shots i believe you need two upper body shots and then uh, the third shot could be basically anywhere you want uh but still with the rapid fire barrel you can three shot kill with the peacekeeper mark two then after that from nine to 20 meters you're going to be getting pretty consistent uh four shots and then after that the damage falls off a ton it goes from 31 to 29 to 18 so it falls off super hard then it goes down to 16 so as you can tell the range on this gets really bad after 20 meters but from zero to 20 meters you're going to be either three or four shotting very consistently which is absolutely insane especially considering the uh fire rate actually increases when you have this barrel on the weapon which we'll talk about very soon by the way the multipliers with this gun is going to be uh 1.24 to the head so basically what that means is like i said before 31 damage to the left legs uh but if you do hit the head it'll that number will be increased by 1.24 which is 38.44 in this scenario or 29 damage times 1.24 is 35.96 so that's the headshot multiplier and then you also have a chest multiplier of 1.1 uh, so as i said before uh 31 damage here would be 34.1 to the chest and then the rest of the body is just normal damage which includes the arms the legs the stomach uh etc the normal fire rate is 650 rounds per minute which is super comparable to the bk57 or the hd40 very similar uh, but if you do have the rapid fire barrel uh the, 
the, the fire rate gets increased to 744, so almost a 100 fire rate increase, uh, which is gonna make your fire rate basically the exact same thing as the AGR, without the 556 magazine, by the way, just the base AGR. And then after that, the magazine is 25 rounds by default, which is really small, so you're definitely gonna wanna have a magazine attachment on this. And then after that, we have like ADS speed and, and mobility and all those stats, which I haven't tested yet. I will test in the future, but again, it's 7.30 a.m., so I wanna go to bed. Uh, but this is the lethality stats of this weapon. And another thing too, is you do lose bullet spread accuracy with the rapid fire barrel. But the thing is when you're using a gun within like 10 to 20 meters, the accuracy and the recoil of the gun really doesn't matter that much because the, the enemies are so much closer and so much larger on your screen because they're closer, which means that it's just much easier to hit your shots. Um, so honestly, even with the, even if this weapon didn't have very good accuracy and very good recoil, which I actually think it does have decent recoil and accuracy, um, it, it doesn't matter too much. But anyway, now that you guys know the fire rate as well as the damage of this weapon, let's go ahead and talk about what this looks like for the time to kill. To do that, we're going to look at this handy dandy spreadsheet, which is going to look really confusing to you guys initially, but don't worry, I'll explain it. It'll be super easy to understand. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a peek. All right, so what we have right here is my special time to kill spreadsheet. Uh, let me go ahead and just explain this really quickly so you guys can understand. Basically on the left is gonna be our ranges. So this is gonna be zero meters, so just point blank range. So this is gonna be the time to kill for all of the different full auto guns at that range. So the ASM-10 will be killing in 221 milliseconds at zero meters, LK-24, 287, so on and so forth. And by the way, this is body shots. Uh, so just to let you guys know, it's the body shot time to kill. But yeah, so so on and so forth. And then also the color of it will basically let you know how good that is. So the ASM-10 is green, which means this is a really good time to kill. Uh, the M4 is red, which means it's a really bad time to kill, so on and so forth. Then if I wanted to see mid-range performance, I'd go to like 20 meters and I'd look. So as you can tell, ASM-10 is yellow, so it's okay, but not great. LK-24 is green, so it's good. CAN-44 is green, so it's good. Uh, do keep in mind, this doesn't take into account the recoil or anything like that. This is just purely the time to kill. Uh, but yeah, so that's all we're talking about right now. So let's go ahead and take a peek at what that looks like for the Peacemaker Mark II, as well as the Peacemaker Mark II with the rapid fire barrel. And that's gonna be right here in this section. This is gonna be the Peacemaker Mark II, and this is gonna be the Peacemaker Mark II with the barrel. So if you guys take a peek, the time to kills on the Peacemaker Mark II without the barrel is gonna be um, orange up close, and then it's yellow, and then it's green. So mid range, as you can tell, it has a very strong time to kill, uh, but close range, it's just meh, and then longer ranges, it's just meh. Uh, but if you do look at the Mark II with the rapid fire barrel, the time to kill up close is absurdly fast. It is actually 161 milliseconds all the way up until uh, nine meters, which is insane. Like when I say insane, the normal Fennec without a Kimbo kills in 219 milliseconds, which you guys can see right here. And the QQ9, 260 milliseconds. The MSMC, 195 milliseconds. So as you can tell, the uh, Peacemaker Mark II, if you're able to get that three shot kill, with the rapid fire barrel on, your time to kill is gonna be 161, which is nuts. I believe the time to kill of the Akimbo Phoenix, if you're able to hit all of your shots at point blank range, so like the perfect scenario, I believe it's like 110 milliseconds, but obviously that's kind of hard to do uh, and, and the, the range and all that and the damage falls off the farther you get. Uh, but with the Peacemaker, as you can tell, the, the time to kill is green all the way up until 20 meters. And then after that, it's red for a little bit and then it's orange, which is not terrible. But do keep in mind if the accuracy is not good, it's gonna be hard to hit shots at this kind of range. Uh, so if you are using this attachment, you're basically only gonna be using it up to about 20 meters but if you are using it up to 20 meters as you can tell the time to kill is nuts again 161 milliseconds is crazy so yeah that's the video um i've used the weapon on the test server a little bit it, it feels good but against the test server so we're not really like it, it's not a good way to test guns because you're not playing against people in ranked or anything like that so i can't give you guys like a super comprehensive guide quite yet but i did want to let you guys know about this information right now just so you guys are kept in the loop and you can see how absurd this is because again it has a three shot time to kill and the fire rate on it is smg level so yeah, um, another thing is that this weapon does have a ton of other barrels on it as well, but this was the most unique barrel and the one that I think is the craziest. Uh, but again, there's a couple different barrels. Um, I'll talk about them more when it does come out in the global version. I don't know if all of them are going to come out in the global version. I don't know if this one's going to come out in the global version because again, this is nuts. Uh, if it does come out, then... I don't know how it's going to be balanced. Uh, we'll see. Maybe they even add other attachments to other weapons to make them OP as well. And we just make all of the guns a lot better. We'll see what Cobb Mobile decides to do. Again, it's the test server, so things could change. Uh, but yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to drop a like and a sub down below. Um, but yeah, so with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys later. Peace.